Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. Another episode going into news and prophecy where we link the things happening worldwide to the Holy Scriptures to show the faithful elect, the remnant, that the words of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, are faithful and true. All right, as this earth is um, in the hands of the wicked, uh, things are going completely left. Um, and it's clear that uh, Babylon the Great and this system is circling the drain. It's clear that judgment is getting ready to be set. And it's clear we're living in an evil day. All right, headed by the wicked Esau Edom, the biblical Edomites, as the scriptures say. All right, the Lord have created all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And this is that evil day. Um, the last rulership of the heathen nations all right, uh, will be fulfilled in Babylon, the great um, NATO, the EU. And um, this wicked grip that this power structure has on the planet Earth, OK, um, has led to a system being put in place that's not predicated upon the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Ba Shem Shai being spread throughout the earth. All right. And synonymously, the Lord has raised us up. All right. The servants, the prophets, the remnant. All right. The, the, the preachers, the believers um, to speak out against this great evil as this earth. All right. Is dying. OK. And um, the earth is not going to allow all right, these Edomites to destroy it before it destroys them, okay? But what's going to happen is the Heavenly Father is going to send His only begotten Son back, all right, to put an end to this madness. So in today's episode of News and Prophecy, we're going to tackle a few things that are happening, all right, dealing with the dying planet, all right, to uh, show you that we're clearly at the end of this thing, all right, and that something must be done. All right. You should be crying to the Lord. You should be in a spirit of heaviness. You should be, um, you know, of course, we rejoice, um, you know, having the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai, having this great gift. All right. But with this great gift, you know, we um, now understand, you know, righteousness. We now understand how kingdoms should be ran. We now understand, all right, the uh, importance of the Lord's order. So with that, you should look at this world and um, be vexed with the rulership and the wicked conversation, all right, that is being spread throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, as Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Now, I have this uh, page up here. This is off of endtimesprophecy.org. And um, as you can see here, it says, Our Dying Planet. All right. It says we have reached a stage now in this Earth's history where everything is dying. See, our planet is groaning and aching under the burden of sin. All right. And let's go ahead and get the book of Romans, the uh, eighth chapter. Because what is the Earth groaning about? The Earth is groaning, you know, because of the rulership that's put in place. OK. And when a wicked ruler is put in place, things go left. When the earth is not ran via the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, because this earth was created to be ran in a particular manner, you can't do as you will. You can't, uh, uh, you know, operate and do what you want with creation. There's an order to things, all right? And we're living in a time. As the scriptures say real quick, let's get that in Psalms, I believe, 82. And then we'll go back to this one. Psalms 82 and 5, it says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. See, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. See that? Why is that? Because the gods of this 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 world, the ones who were set up to rule this world, the sons of God, have fallen. I have said, ye are gods, speaking to the chosen lineage. All of you are the children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men, 
and fall like one of the princes. See, and that would lead to what? Evil, wicked rulership taking place in the earth. All right. And things being done out of order. That's why the scriptures say here, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. OK, there is a particular course. There is a particular way. There is an order to how this earth should be operated. Every every uh, uh, thing has an order to it. All right. And from men and women and children, that's all out of order. OK. And from that point, everything else goes left. Okay, the foods people eat, the way that the uh, oceans and rivers are treated, the, the air is polluted. Why is this? Because the judges of the earth aren't set in place. All right. When the scriptures say the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. He didn't just cover up, you know, the uh, pictures of the dark images of the Messiah and the disciples and the true Israelites. He covered up true judgment. That's why here in verse eight, it says, arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. OK, and once the Lord, all right, through Yahweh Shai and the elect, all right, inherits all nations, these nations will be put in subjection and they won't be able to roam free. All right. We will have the law, statutes and commandments written in our inward part. OK, and what the earth is groaning for will happen, as it says here. This is a. Uh, Romans chapter 8 and 19 for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God all right and the creature all right begins with Israel all right but the whole creation is groaning as it says here in verse 22 for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now Waiting for what man, the, the manifestation of the sons of God. OK, waiting for the sons of God to be put back in their proper order, because as the scriptures say in Isaiah, the 26th chapter. Let's get that real quick. <clears throat> Isaiah, the 26th chapter. And the uh, ninth verse it says, with my soul, I have desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me, I will seek thee early. All right. Groaning for the Lord to come back and set up righteousness in the planet Earth. All right. You Israelite men. All right. You, you talk to a lot of Israelite men and, you know, they, they long for the multiple wives and, you know, to have, you know, riches and be the man and be famous and have this status. Well, what you should be really because that comes with the territory. All right. But what you should be yearning for is righteousness to be set up in the earth because the earth matters. The air quality matters. The water quality matters. Anim the, animal, the, 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 the quality of animals should matter. These are things that we were raised not to give a damn about. But now that you've learned righteousness, okay, these things should matter to you. And you should be crying out, okay, and, and, and speaking out against the evil, all right, that this devil has set in the earth. And all of these heathen, and the two-thirds right along with them. All of them got to go, okay? For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be shown unto the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So here it is. These devils have been showed favor via the, a blessing given unto them by the Most High God, Yahweh. All right. And he used uh, uh, Isaac to give them that blessing. All right. He prophesied that they would rule. And with their rulership, they have not done anything good. This is why the, the, the kingdom is getting ready to be translated from one people to another. OK. But again, here, when the judgments of the Lord are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Because right now. As we uh, quoted earlier, and then we'll get. Um, into some articles and read, you know, some of that, uh, that, uh, page I was reading Job nine and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See that he covered the faces of the judges thereof. The true set judges of this earth are the judgment. 
all right, and judges uh, of the tabernacle of David. Those are the thrones that Yahweh by Shimei Shah are going to establish. And that's going to be a government predicated upon righteousness. All right. And everything will be put back in its proper order, starting with man and woman, you know, child, animals. The law, statutes, and commandments are getting ready to be set up in the earth, which is going to lead to a cleaner environment. If not, where is he? Now my days are swifter than the post. They flee away. They see no good. All right. Let's read this in the NLT. Right now that this devil is ruling, my life passes more swiftly than a runner. It flees away without a glimpse of happiness. All right. And we try to keep ourselves happy. All right. But with this devil ruling, how can you be happy? OK, you have little remnants of laughter and smiling, but, you know, really, you're not happy. OK, uh, everybody's sick. OK, everything's unjust, everything's nasty. They are passed away as the swift ships, as the eagle hasted to pray. Your days, our people are dying. Everybody's dying. Every time you look up, you know, people are just dying suddenly. What's up with that? Well, it's because the wicked are ruling and we know what's at the forefront of a lot of these deaths, man. OK. Our dying planet. It says. Our planet is groaning and aching under the burden of sin. All right. And who promotes and makes sure that sin is the standard that the earth is ran the looter the, the 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 losers but the 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 leadership the losership <laughs> the leadership man the man of sin okay when you're looking out into this world you're supposed to look and say the man of sin is ruling this world that's why sin is everywhere and sin leads to what decay sin is what runs this whole entire planet earth sin is the biggest business OK, on the planet Earth. That's what makes uh, these devils all of this damn money. The oceans and the air are polluted and man in his quest for power, the so-called white man. Let's call it like it is. In, in, in these elite uh, uh, banking families and the heathen that are joined unto them. Because it's always man. Oh, mankind is bad. It's, it's man. Well, what man? Who's ruling? According to the Bible, because this guy is uh, whoever does this uh, channel or whoever does this this uh, page, they believe in the Bible. All right. But it's the, the, the so-called white man, the elite. OK. And his quest for power and wealth is destroying the world like never before in history. And if you read Revelation 11 and 18, you will see that God is going to destroy who who uh, those who destroy his beautiful creation. OK, and this is where we are in the planet Earth. This is this is the time we are in prophecy. Revelation 11 and 18 and the nations were angry. That's why everywhere you look, war is, 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 is the, you know, the topic of discussion. Uproars of the people all over the earth, nothing but uproars, rebellions against governments. All right. Disorder in marriages. All right. Men and women can't get along. Children are sh killing and shooting up each other. All right. This is uh, the result of the red horse in Revelation, the sixth chapter, who would take peace from the earth, who was blessed with that great sword. This is the rulership of Esau Edom. It has led to the nations being angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and should destroy them, which destroy the earth, destroy them, which destroy the earth. As the individual who did this page is quoting. OK, bees continue to die off in massive numbers. OK, they're now talking about uh, uh, putting vaccines in bees. OK, now, why are these mass deaths of bees and bats a concern? All right. What does it say? A die off of six point seven million bats occurred in America due to the white noise syndrome, causing a 90 percent fall in bat populations. OK, let's just read a little bit more of this and then we'll get some other articles, man. OK. Um, now are these mass death? Of, why are these? Mass, see, people will hear. OK, yeah, the bees and the bats are dying. How the hell did that bother me? Nigga, I'm chasing a bag. 
how, how does that bother me? That doesn't bother me. I don't like bats. I'm scared of bees. But you don't understand that everything that was created by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai was created for a purpose. As a matter of fact, let's get that in the book of Sirach. The 42nd chapter, I believe. Sirach 42 and 21. He have garnished the excellent works of his wisdom, and he is from everlasting to everlasting, and unto him may nothing be added. See, the rulers of this earth think that they can add to the Heavenly Father's creation, and look at the mess that they've made. Neither can he be diminished. They're trying to diminish the Most High God. They say the uh, Yahweh Shah is fake news. This is what the leaders of this world are talking about. Meanwhile, look at the earth. Okay? You, you, you're scared to have sex because you don't know uh, the, the, uh, what, what, what disease you may catch. That's the, that's the state of the earth. You don't know if the, the, who, the woman you meet is actually a woman. <laughs> Children are depressed killing themselves how you got children committing suicide and he have no need of any counselor man the most high god yahweh ba shim yahushai does not need no counselor and you devils think you you can counsel the most high that's the pride you're running this earth with and how desirable are all his works and that a man may see even to a spark the fact that you can even see a spark fire <laughs> is, is amazing but people have become so engulfed in, uh, 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 you know, social media and pride that they, they don't give a damn about Yahweh Bashim Yahushai no more. OK, people are getting extremely more stupid. OK. It's because the fear of a higher power, the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in particular. OK. Leads to a decline in natural instincts. Natural care. Americans IQ declining for the first time in almost a century studies fine. OK, people are getting significantly more stupid. OK, now to hell with the intelligence uh, quotient, because that's what IQ means. All right. But you can clearly see and we ain't got to go into this article. You can clearly see that. People are, are, are more stupid. People are dumb as hell, man. Right? Let's go back to this uh, scripture. I'll do. I, I'm, I'm going to go into that, Lord willing, in, a, in another day. But yeah, the, the the the. I mean, you don't even have to read that article. Just have a conversation with an everyday American. Or wherever you are and you see people have no idea what's going on. All right. But there I will say there is a rise. All right. In uh, uh, Jake. Knowing something is off in the earth. OK. You know, I've been hearing a lot more Jake having conversations about something is wrong. The world, the, the, the earth ain't the same. The, the world is going to shits. All these things live and remain forever for all uses. So the bat has a use. The bat is a pollinator and it does a lot more in the ecosystem. And the bee is a pollinator. OK. And you need pollination in order to have a healthy earth. OK. Pollination is how uh, uh, plants. All right. Uh, reproduce. OK. Pollen is the sperm of the flower the plant and the lord has set up these particular animals with fur on particular parts of their body to carry the 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 pollen all right to other plants all right so that reproduction can happen in the earth right all these things live and remain forever for all use and they're all obedient all things are double one against another and he have made nothing imperfect so you're thinking about a bat you look at it you're like that yeah, ugly <laughs> all right but the bat the bee are important to your everyday life Let's see was there any more all right Let's see here where we were here 
We'll come back to that. <clears throat> it says, now, why are these mass deaths of bees and bats a concern to our world? Because honeybees don't just make honey. They also do a vital, vital job of pollinating. See, the majority of the flowering crops we have from which we get much of our fruits, vegetables and nuts, including soybeans, beans, broccoli, sprouts, carrots, cucumbers, onions, parsnips, uh, uh, squash, tomato, almonds, cashews, apple, blackberry, blueberry, cacao, all right, uh, 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 cacao, uh, coffee, grapes, kiwi, mango, pears, raspberries, alfalfa, sesame, sunflower, just to name a few. A major part of the human diet comes from insect pollinated plants. Okay. And what about the bats? Well, not only do they help pollinate other foods we eat like bananas, mangoes, dates, figs, peaches, cashews, guava, and avocados. They also consume incredible amount of insects that are agricultural pests. See, the Lord was on point <laughs> when he gave the Allah Hayyam the blueprint on how to make and create creation and to set up this earth. The millions of bats that have died due to the due to due to disease over the past six years would have consumed hundreds of tons of insects pests in one year. Add this to the struggling crops because of adverse weather. See the weather is all jacked up and you will see the problem. But this is just to show you we are living in end times. Those who trust and follow Yahweh Shah Hamashiach need not worry as our food will always be provided. All right. By our great savior and protector. All right. And he's speaking to the Christian world. We're speaking to the Israelites, the true followers of Yahweh Shai, the followers of Hamashiach that were called Christians. And see, these people got it all, you know, messed up. But the Lord has set up a, a, a specific amount of people on the earth. To speak out, okay, to speak out against this, what's going on, man, okay? The mysterious demise of fresh rotter mussels, a third of butterflies have died off in the past two decades in Ohio, 50 to 80% of reduction in humpback whale sightings in Hawaii, Scotland's worst salmon season, alarm over decline of flying insects, unprecedented tree die off hit southern california who's doing this but this dude has the 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 the, the nerve to sit up there and point out uh uh, uh kyrie irving kanye west uh what's this other little nigga name It'd be jumping all high nigga be jumping from the goddamn three-point line with the dreads uh, uh forget his name <laughs> all right they, they sit up there and try to paint jake as the true problem on the earth which jake is a problem don't get it twisted but the true problem of the earth are you Edomites. And that's why the Bible addresses you. Uh, 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 mass coral die off in Asia. I mean, and it goes on and on and on. It doesn't stop. That's why this is a good sight. <laughs> Look at all of this. Look at all of this destruction. And this is just one page. Fish with cancer. Okay? And we ain't even got to the articles yet. This is just one page and lord willing i can leave this in post-production but god damn disease hits how do how does a a bee catch a disease how does a frog catch a disease unless the devil is ruling these are all uh a signs of a wicked rulership man mass animal deaths for 2023 it just gives you a list now let's just look at the list for 2022 and watch how long this list is going to be. Okay? You, you, hundreds of millions of dead fish. All of this death in the earth. Okay? But but the Hebrew Israelites are the, are the biggest problem, according to uh, uh, Christians in Vocab Malone. Okay? Hundreds and thousands of animals just dropping dead. Which, why is that? Well, let's get the book of Hosea. The fourth chapter. Let's see here. Uh, 
Hosea 4 and 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, man. And it's, it's led to a polluted environment. You see, and now we are waking up to, to, to truly understand the importance of the fear of the Lord. There's no, 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 no truth. Everything's a lie. No mercy. Everybody's unmerciful. Okay, even you Israelites are unmerciful. Here it is when it comes to your own people, they got to burn forever. But when it comes to the heathen, they, 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 you don't have that energy towards them. Nor knowledge of God in the land. See that? No knowledge of the most high in the land. All right. And you Israelites being out of order are at the forefront of that. See, when you're out of when we're out of order, the, the, the Lord allows heathen to rule. And to be at the forefront of judgment, what goes where, how, how, how this should be, how that should be. And look at the result by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committed adultery. This is black culture. This is the culture of the tribes. They break out in blood, touch it blood, meaning uh, uh, Jake is killing one another. Therefore, shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. Everybody's languishing. Why is everybody languishing? Well, we know the answer is in Isaiah, the 24th chapter. With the beast of the field and the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea shall be taken away. Why? Because the true Israelites aren't in power. This is the result. One billion snow crabs disappear. 477 whales, 47 million birds, avian flu, all of this stuff is happening right before our face. Okay? And and we're proud? No Israelite should be proud. You should be a uh, 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 sorrowful, man. This is a goddamn shame. Look at this. 2021 and it's just what's reported. So, let's get to these articles, man. <sighs> One serving of freshwater fish equals a month of drinking water with forever chemicals, man. Give me one second here. Are you getting ready for a fish fry this evening? Many people in Northeast Ohio look forward to that plate of perch or walleye each week during Lent. But consumer investigative reporter Jen Pachano has details on alarming test results about so-called forever chemicals in freshwater fish, including the ones coming out of Lake Erie, and the effects of just one serving. Charter fishing boat captain Denny Sharon trusts that the fish they're catching out on Lake Erie are safe to eat. We eat a lot of the fish. Um, most of the fishing that we do is for people to take fish home, put in their freezers, and, and cook and eat. Before he goes out fishing, he checks out the advisory to the state health department. But word of the potential God damn. of consuming just one serving per Please year ask. is giving him pause. The Environmental Working Group just released the results of a comprehensive study that found eating just one serving of freshwater fish per year could be equal to a month of drinking water laced with forever chemicals or PFAS. So that, you know, Jake, oh man, I'm, I'm done with uh, chicken and beef. I'm going to just eat fish. Well, <laughs> that's even worse. Because there's forever chemicals in the water. Now, who's responsible for forever chemicals being spread into the earth? <laughs> Look no further than Esau Edom, in particular, a group called the DuPont family. Who's responsible for just just, just putting all manner of toxins in the water, man. They, earn, they own these corporations. Forever chemicals <laughs> are in all of the lakes, is in the water. And if it ain't for, forever chemicals, it's some kind of chemical. OK, and this goes to the, the, the scripture that the waters will be polluted. I believe that's in uh, Revelation, the uh, 16th chapter. And it's only going to get worse. Yep. Revelation 16 and three and the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as blood of a dead man, meaning nothing but death issue forth from it. All right. The scriptures talks about how the Sodomitish Sea shall cast out fish. Now, the Sodomitish Sea is representative of the people 
and the doctrines they cast out, but uh, 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 water casting out fish or fish, you know, uh, uh, beaching themselves and jumping out of water represents pollution, death. And every living soul died in the sea. So everything's dying. All right. But the heavenly father. All right. Has set up a rulership on the earth that is responsible for this, man. All right. And of course, the angels are the ones who dictate the minds of the king to make the, make sure these things happen. As the scriptures say, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, man. There's another one I was thinking of. Let's see. Um, let's see if I can. Here. And these are all plagues. Okay? Just like he did in Egypt, and he uh and he turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. That's happening here. Okay, I'll I'll get to the, the, the one I was looking for. But as you can see, the earth is in a destroyed state, man. Chemicals have been linked to a host of serious medical risks. Other stakeholders in the fishing industry say the numbers should sound off alarms. I mean, as a chef, it's shocking to hear this, but I think it's so important that we hear this information. Armed with this new information, those who catch, sell, serve, and eat freshwater fish may now have more questions than answers. Jen Pachano, 19 News. And coming up on 19 News at 6, Jen shares these shocking statistics on fish tested in Lake Erie and the Rocky River and the recommendations from the state that differ greatly from this new information. There you go. Let's see, worm, oh, Wormwood is the one I'm looking for. So lucky it wasn't that one, but <clears throat> let's get that. All of these chemicals and toxins that are being Put in the, 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 the waters. Damn, that was it. Revelation 8 and 11. Let's see here. Revelation 8 and 10. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of water, which that's how you get uh, your waters in your cities through rivers creeks right and all of those are polluted okay as a matter of fact let's just type in polluted rivers let's go to google one second here let's go to google and just type in polluted rivers in the u.s in the world, it's a hell. The U.S. is just rivers polluted. All, all of the, all of the world, the, the rivers are polluted. The twelve most polluted rivers in the world. We ain't got to read them to see where, but you can see that this is a thing. Okay, worldwide, all of the rivers are being polluted. Okay, this is all, all right, a fulfillment of prophecy, man. The Philippines, in Indonesia. Plastic pollution. All right. Uh, there's particular parts of the world where they put tires in the ocean. They just dump tires in the ocean. Okay. I think in Florida. Yeah. The time Florida dumped two million tires in the ocean. So there's just tires sitting in the. Oh, my goodness, man. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> Let's go back. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. Now, when you look up Wormwood, okay, Wormwood, I believe it's a root, all right, that you can take to get, you know, worms and toxins out of your body. But if you take too much, it can become toxic to you, Okay. So it's really symbolic of bitter, uh, bitterness, toxin, all right, calamities, all right. The uh, Greek word is aspen, aspendos, all right. Let's see what it says here. Pl a plant both bitter and deleterious in growing in desolate places, figurative, 
figuratively suggestive of calamity. See that? Calamity. Okay? Lamentations 3 and 5, uh, mention 15. He hath filled me with bitterness. He hath made me drunken with wormwood. So it's, it's symbolic of calamity. <clears throat> the water is becoming bitter. And how are the waters becoming bitter? Through toxins. Okay? This is going to be a point where drinking water is going to be killing people. And, and, and there's a part, there's parts of the earth. As a matter of fact, let's look it up. Okay? In water. See if we can find something on that. So these prophecies are real, man. And it's only going to worsen. Okay? It's only going to worsen, man. And this is why we have to lean on Yahweh Bashmiyah Shai. But as that loads, see if we can go back here. Okay? It says, <clears throat> And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died because of the waters, and the waters were made bitter. See that? These are plagues that are being sent upon the earth, man. Okay? Person in Florida dies after getting brain-eating amoeba infection. All right? And when you read it, it's from uh, drinking water. Okay? Toxin, wa toxin uh, waters, man. Tap water. See that? So, <laughs> toxins in the water. Okay. Toxic forever chemicals in U.S. drinking water to be regulated for the first time. Why is it for five days ago? For the first time, they're going to regulate how many forever chemicals can be allowed into the water. EPA to limit forever chemicals in drinking water to prevent thousands of deaths. This man is the devil. What more do you need to see? This is the man of sin being revealed. What are forever chemicals? Cancer causing chemicals in water may be limited by EP limited. See, in a righteous system, they will be rooted out of the earth along with the wicked. Okay, the, the, the scriptures say a king. Let's see. A, a righteous king that sits on the throne. I know it's in the book of Proverbs. Let's see here. Cover it, uh, scatter it. Is that it? Yep. <laughs> Proverbs 20 and 8. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Woo, Proverbs 20 and 26, a wise king scattereth the wicked and bringeth a will over them. See that? I mean, you don't allow them to go nowhere. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom. This is why the scriptures talks about in Isaiah 24, the, the, uh, the, uh, the kings of the earth are going to be locked up because that's exactly where they need to be. They need to be locked away. They don't need to be roaming free, telling people what to do and having any, uh, 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 any opinion shut your ass up a wise kings scatters the wicked like wheat and then runs his threshing will over them <laughs> run their ass over okay and this is what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven man because isaiah the 24th chapter gives you okay the results of the of wicked rulership okay why are all of this evil happening isaiah 24 and four, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay? And there is a, a condition that, that came during uh, the CVID days of 2020 till now called languishing. I'm not depressed. I'm not angry. I don't want to commit suicide. I'm languishing. That's a result of an evil rulership and prophecy said that that would happen. 
How about that? Okay, look it up. A languishing mental condition. Okay, I always do it. <laughs> All right. Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth is also defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. See, changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore, hath the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate. All right. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. And the fire is coming because of this wicked, evil rulership. But when you go down, what's going to be the result? OK. A destruction, man. Destruction is going to come. And this is what's going to be the result. Isaiah 24 and 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high. And the kings of the earth up on the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be put in the prison. And after many days, they shall be visited because look at what I mean. Clearly, you need to be locked up. All right. You locking up Israelites left and right for the, the wickedness they do. Well, the scriptures say he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And we could take slavery out of the, the, the picture and you still deserve your ass to be locked up because the earth is defiled. All right. Under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. The land Sabbath, everything is, 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 is just in disarray, man. OK. Mississippi sees. 900% rise in number of infants born with congenital syphilis. What? <laughs> How do you even respond to something like this? Infants born with syphilis? God damn. God damn, man. Mississippi has registered a, a, an alarming rise in the number of infants being treated all right, for congenital syphilis. According to the hospital billing data shared with NBC, the number of babies who have been treated for sexually transmitted diseases has increased by more than 900% over five years. Ten newborns that were born in the poorest American state in 2016 received treatment for the disease. In 2021, 102 newborns were treated for the disease, including at least one who died. Syphilis is a contagious disease that mostly spreads through sex, but babies can also contract the illness from infected mothers. The disease produces an ulcer in the area where the body, where it is entered into the body, where it appears between 10 and 60 days after the infection, man. So this, this is what's going on in the earth. Okay. This is what's happening in the earth. Not to mention the stillborns. All right. And the, the rise and, you know, uh, uh, babies just giving up the ghost since 2020. I wonder why. I wonder if uh, that 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 Biden sauce has anything to do with all of this, this death. OK, which we know it ain't his sauce, but he's the one that was, uh, you know, he was he was the president while that was all, you know, forced upon the people, man. OK. Let's see here. Now, this was interesting. OK. <laughs> a seaweed blob okay a seaweed blob twice the width of the u.s is heading towards florida and here's what you should know okay now instead of reading this article i'm gonna uh play this video because this is uh a, a, a seaweed an angel had to create this a seaweed blob twice the width of the U.S. The Lord is destroying this place, man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. A 5,000 a, a 5, mile long mass of seaweed is coming to shore. Here's what will happen. It sounds like science fiction. A 5,000 mile long belt of seaweed weighing more than 11 million tons is sloshing around in the Atlantic Ocean. When some of it reaches Florida, it threatens to wreak havoc in the coastal waters and on the beaches. But it is very real. It's called the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt, 
so big it can be seen from space, spanning the tropical Atlantic from West Africa to the Caribbean. Earlier, I talked with Ajit Subramaniam, an oceanographer at Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory. Sargassum is a seaweed that grows entirely on the surface of the ocean. It is never attached to land. And the Sargassum Sea is called the Sargassum Sea because of the prevalence of Sargassum in the northern part. The Great Sargassum Belt is a new population of Sargassum that seems to be headed towards Babylon. In 2011. Uh, we didn't see it there in satellite imagery before that. And then we saw this explosion of a popula new population about then. That seems to basically slosh back and forth between the coast of West Africa and the Yucatan and Mexican coast on the other side of the Caribbean on an annual basis. Is this one bed of seaweed? Is it multiple plants? Actually, it is made up of individual strands. So when you're out on a ship, we often would see uh, a band of sargassum maybe a couple of meters wide, let's say 10 feet wide, and that stretches sort of disconnected but into the horizon. So you have these streaks that are continuous um, only to about 200 meters or 300 meters each one, but then they line up one behind the other because of the wind. And you say that this was first seen uh, in imagery in, in 2011, and it's grown a lot since then. And they're just now telling you. Now, I'm going to read this that a brother uh, sent into the chat. It says, Sargassum can be dangerous to humans, too. A Lapidite added, the gas emitted from the rotting algae, hydrogen sulfide, is toxic and can cause respiratory problems. Seaweed also contains arsenic in its flesh, containing... Uh, uh, making it dangerous if ingested or used for fertilizer, for fertilizer, okay? And I believe, all right, Florida is already uh, uh, seeing, you know, um, particular uh, effects of this, okay? As a matter of fact, I'll just play this one. Give me one second. Damn it. Play this one. God damn. We've seen hurricanes, we've seen rainstorms, keen tides on the South Beach, but this is a new one, the invasion of sargassum seaweed. South Florida has a seaweed problem. This is sargassum, and it's everywhere. Sargassum is a brown seaweed that uh, calls home the Sargasso Sea, the central genre of the North Atlantic Ocean, that provides habitat to over 100 species of fishes and over 100 species of invertebrates. Sargassum is a good thing. It's a fish factory when it's offshore. But when it comes ashore in excessive amounts, it becomes problematic. FAU's Dr. Brian LaPointe has been studying the Great Atlantic Sargassum Belt for decades. That's a 5,500-mile stretch from the Gulf of Mexico to West Africa, home to more than 20 million tons of this floating seaweed. Based on what we have seen over the past decade, since 2011, we have seen this ramping up, up in a way. 2014 was the worst year ever in the Gulf of Mexico for sargassum. 2015 was a bad year all around the Caribbean. 2018 was even worse. What exactly is causing the overgrowth of sargassum that we see watching? The angels are doing this. We did um, 10, 15 years ago. We have all heard about our carbon footprint, the CO2, and its relationship to climate change. What you don't hear so much about is the human nitrogen footprint. And that nitrogen footprint traces to thousands of miles oh, away boy. in the Amazon rainforest. Every minute, an area the size of one and a half soccer fields is being deforested. That is being replaced with some type of agriculture, cattle farming, and increasing use of fertilizers. Plants need nitrogen in large amounts to grow. And, and who's causing all the deforestation? Esau. They gotta go, man. Fertilizers are of a fay of it. The deforested Amazon areas require heavy use of them. Much of that fertilizer then seeps into the Amazon River when it rains. And it's made worse by a changing climate. So Lakia has some technical difficulties with that video, but um, you know, getting back to this topic, you know, a seaweed blob, <laughs> which, you know, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahabashim Shai, you know, these are all plagues. You know, the angels are doing these things. All right, the Heavenly Father is using the earth all right to fight against the wicked okay and to plague this place all right as a matter of fact let's get the book of wisdom of solomon 5 and 19 he shall take holiness for an invincible shield his severe wrath shall he sharpen for a sword and this is the heavenly father's wrath you see and it's going to get significantly worse before the destruction comes, 
Okay. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. See, the world shall fight with him, with the most high. All right. Against the, the unwise. And that's what's happening in the planet Earth. All right. Then shall the, the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad. <laughs> All right. And from uh, the clouds. And from a well drawn bow shall they fly to the mark. And that's World War Three. OK, World War Three, man. And severe weather. OK, but World War Three. Once that 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 hits, you know, we you know, we're, we're we're there, man. And that's close. OK, and hailstones full of wrath shall be cast at out cast as out of the stone bow and the water of sea rage. All right. Of the sea shall rage against them and floods shall cruelly drown them. Are not all of these things happening in the planet Earth? See that? These things are happening. The, 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 the world is fighting against, all right, the unwise floods, all right, all over the planet Earth. I mean, all you have to do is go into the, the, the Internet and type in the severe uh, weather that's happening. The Lord is using the world to fight against the unwise. Yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth and ill dealings shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. See, the ill dealings of you Edomites is why all of these things are happening. Plus, the prophets have been sent. All right. To prophesy all of these things and speak these plagues into existence. That's what Moses and Aaron did in Egypt. Right. OK. As they spoke and told Pharaoh, these things are getting ready to happen. If you don't do this, those things happened. And we're living in a time where all of the plagues are hitting this place. All right. And from the point that the prophets came on to the Internet 2007 till now. OK, this world has gotten significantly worse, but the world is being used to fight. OK, against the unwise. This is why you see animal attacks everywhere you look. You see Edomites in particular getting attacked by dogs, wolves, seals, otters. OK, <laughs> horses, OK, horses kicking the shit out of Edomites everywhere you look, you're seeing animal attacks. OK, animal attacks by the numbers. OK, animal attacks are on the rise. OK, it says, look, this is January of 2023 attacks by large predatory animals are on the rise worldwide over the last 50 years. OK, How, however, the likelihood of dying during an encounter with a wolf or a bear in a forest depends heavily upon why that person is walking through nature and what people are right. Go and walk through nature. Let's see what the let's see what the scriptures say. Who Who's a man of the field? You Edomites and you Edomites are getting attacked <laughs> every which every which way. Who's the man of the field? OK, Genesis 25 and 27 and the boys grew and Esau was a cunning hunter and a man of the field. And a lot of those animals are mad at his ass. OK, animals have spirits. See, he was a man of the field. Let's look up this word field. Who's always outside hunting? All right. Uh, 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 you know, conquering uh, animals. OK, and doing all of that wickedness. You Edomites. OK, killing lions. You 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 got um, and who's the cunning hunter? That's you Edomites. You got uh, you got. Shit. I can't think of the name. Whew, it's been a long day. You got a. Uh, hold up. What am I looking for? The man of the field. They got contest. Hunting contest, man. All right, Shada. <laughs> oh boy, field, land, cultivated field, home of wild beast. Now, who's always out amongst the wild beast? You Edomites. So you're seeing an increase in animal attacks. Okay, especially amongst Edomites, man. All right, 
Overall, wild cats and dogs are responsible for more predatory attacks than other animals. Bears are more likely, yada, yada, yada. Okay? So the, the, why are these things on the rise? It's prophecy. It's the scriptures. Okay? Let's go uh, to Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. There be spirits created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. The Lord did not, uh, uh, the spirits created for vengeance ain't just human beings. The Lord putting the spirit on animals to attack because of pursuing to the book of Habakkuk real quick. One of the things you Edomites did with your rulership, all right, in Habakkuk 2 and 17, and for the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee, and the spoil of beast which made them afraid. See? And now these animals got spirits on them to attack people, man. All over the earth. All right? Because of men's blood and the violence of the land and of the city and all that dwell therein. This is why these things are happening. Okay, animal attacks are on the rise. Okay, everywhere you look, animal attacks. Why increased aggression? See that? Why increased aggression? Many wildlife experts agree on the reason wild animal attacks are seemingly on the rise. Okay, yeah, how climate uh, change can lead to more animal attacks. Well, the scriptures do. All right, because the, the real issue is you Edomites, because the scriptures address this, okay? The scriptures address everything. Second Ezra is the fifth chapter. Second Ezra is five and eight. And there shall be a confusion in many places. And the fire shall off be sent out again. We're seeing all kind of fires, especially over the last five years. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Why? Because the, the powers that be are building and, and, and taking down, uh, you know, uh, ecosystems and building houses there. A lot of those places where those fires be, they know those fires are going to come, but they still build houses there. Most of the fires that are happening, they're happening where rich Edomites live. See, and the wild beasts are changing their places and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, man. Okay. Those crazy looking babies. Okay. The crack babies. <laughs> wild beasts are changing their places. All of these things are happening right in our face. Okay. Right in our face. Why the increased aggression? Well, it's prophecy. It's prophecy. That's why these animals have increased aggression. Their spirits created for vengeance. All right. In, in which in their fury lay on sore strokes. This is Sirach 39 and 28. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their uh, force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire, hell, famine, death. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beast, scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction they shall rejoice in his command i'll do it <laughs> teeth uh, man these animals ready to kick ass man because you edomites have done a lot of wickedness and the people on this earth have done a lot of wickedness okay this is what brought the flood about the, the evil that we see today now fire is coming but before that we're gonna see animals kicking ass OK, we're going to see uh, uh, all uh, the, the, the weather, the floods, fires. The food is all messed up. You can when you eat this food, you can tell something ain't right. We'll get to that in just a second. These shall rejoice in his command and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. The, the, the animals ain't going to say, nah, man. Nah. OK. Animal attacks are on the rise, man. Eating, uh, the, 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 eating uh, little babies, uh, killing uh, children. 
Okay? Since human beings began to expand and urbanize their surroundings, they have been at odds with wild animals. Yet experts have warned for years these creatures are becoming increasingly vi violent. Man. Many wildlife experts agree on the reasons wild animals are seemingly on the rise. Attacks. Wild animal attacks are seemingly on the rise. Prophecy is why. Okay? One is provocation. The other seems to be the astounding rate at which humans are encroaching on wildlife habitat. Did not we just read that? Hmm? The wild beasts are changing their places because Esau, Edom, and how he's running this world in a righteous rulership, that wouldn't be. <laughs> okay? Because if you take particular animals and, and, and move them out of particular parts of the ecosystem, that leads to decay that leads to a, 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 a horrible earth and the earth is big enough not to have to do what this devil is doing Shh. man summer homes subdivisions heavily trafficked parks diverse outdoors rec recreation these all put people and wild animals into increased intense contact such contact can cause animals to lose their innate fear of humans. These desensitized animals, including many national park and campground bears, are widely considered to be most dangerous animals of all. So bears are attacking people. All right. I mean, everywhere you look. Okay. Uh, animal. <laughs> Let's just type in animal. Let's go to Google. <laughs> Let's get this in uh, Jeremiah. <laughs> yes, sir. This is uh, speaking of what happened to our people, but all of these curses are coming back on you devils. Jeremiah 15 and 3, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. See? That's what's happening on the planet Earth right now, man. All right. And we're witnessing it. OK. Animals attack, ch animal attacks, child. Look. Coyote attack. OK. Animals attacking children. Let's just click on news and see. <laughs> the mother of bite victim claims dog previous, previously attacked six days ago, a little white baby. Second dog dies from in injury from dog attacks. Child seriously hurt by several dogs. I mean, hey, two boys killed in animal attacks in Dale High. High number of dog attacks concern child health experts. You see that? Why are friendly dogs turning furious? Well, they've been commanded to kick ass. See, they shall rejoice at his commandment and they shall be ready upon the earth when need is. And this is the time of judgment. This is why being proud and being an asshole ain't it. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. <laughs> <laughs> and see, people think, oh, man, that's mean. Well, therefore, from the beginning, I was resolved and thought upon these things and have left them in writing. He wrote this for you to let you know, this, nigga, this is coming. All right. Or brother, this is coming. All the works of the Lord are good. He will give every needful thing in due season. See, and this is the season of animal attacks. OK, because this devil has went too far. This earth, you people have went too far, man. OK. Job 20 and 27, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. See that the earth is rising up against you devils, man. OK, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity. The earth shall rise up against him. OK. The increase of his house shall depart and his good shall flow away in a day of wrath. 
This is the portion of a wicked man from God and a heritage appointed unto him by the most high, man. Okay? So let's see another train derailment. Okay? And we, we that's just the, the new theme. Okay? That's just a new theme. Okay? Frozen fruit sold at Costco stores in Washington or recalled an organ recalled due to hepatitis. Okay, and the food is is making uh, uh, people sick, man. This is a this is a, a chemical warfare. Okay, uh, being put on by the devil. All right, the Lord gonna stop you, devils. Though another day, another recall. At least that's the way it seems after last week's announcement. Okay, and 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 all over the earth, there's food recalls. Okay. <laughs> all over the earth not just here okay <laughs> yeah frozen fruit contaminated with hepatitis how does hepatitis get in fruit so just type in food recall 2023 I mean, we can go 2022 as well but let's, let's put it in 2023 yeah this earth is through this place is getting ready to be destroyed man if you can't see that we at the end, man, and you talking about I want to see my kids grow up, grow up. I just heard somebody. I want. I can't wait to see my kids grow up and yada yada yada. Okay. <laughs> Listeria food re re recall. More than four hundred products, including breakfast sandwiches and fruit cups, recalled all over the earth. Cause we're in the news. <laughs> <laughs> in the news <laughs> oh man oh man that brother is hilarious look ba Gerber baby formula Combina uh, contamination Ikea recalls 40,000 mirrors that go on walls some didn't stay there <laughs> dog food Elevated levels of vitamin D. Oh, man. I mean, all over the world. I mean, you could just read these titles. All over the world. Food recalls. Okay. That's what the scriptures say. Thus shall the children of Israel eat their bread defiled. Okay. And the scriptures talks about us eating poison and living. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's get that. If they shall eat. And if they eat. Any. Is it poisonous? Let's see here. I'll look it up on my phone real quick. Hell no. If they eat, if they shall eat any poisonous thing, hold up. They shall eat poison and live in the Bible. Yep, Mark 16 and 18. I can never find that scripture when I'm thinking of it. Got a few more articles and we'll get out of here. Mark 16 and 18. They shall take up serpents and if they eat any. And this is speaking of uh, the, the, the disciples. OK, which the, the Lord told them they will be preaching on the other side, the whole other side of the earth and the uttermost parts of the earth. That's over here in the Americas. Mark 16 and 17. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And all of these things all right, are happening and they're getting ready to happen on an even larger scale because this food is toxic, man. OK. Let's see here. So that's that. Yep. More than 170 trillion plastic particles found in oceans as pollution reaches unprecedented levels, man. God damn. <laughs> and we ain't got to read up and all of that, but shit, this is all over the earth. Look at this. 
This all happened under you devil's watch. You see? Okay. Retail apocalypse. Major fast food chains, franchise, and Chick-fil-A rival files for bankruptcy. Is that Popeye's? With 19 restaurants at risk in retail ice age. Hungry customers may have to go elsewhere to look for popular fast food chicken restaurants. And the chicken, something's wrong with the chicken. The chicken is jacked up. You eat chicken nowadays, you know this ain't this ain't the chicken of old. Something ain't right. And that's how you know the Lord got to come back. Okay, it says, in rival to Chick-fil-A is at risk of closing many of its doors. Okay? You know, which I don't. I don't eat Popeye's, but I remember that shit used to be good as hell. Okay. But around the world, we just go to, uh, let's just go here in one second. A lot of stores are closing. Okay. A lot of stores are closing. And it's only going to get significantly worse. Store closings 2023. Let's just type that in. Yep. Party City. I mean, all over the world, man. Walmart's closing. Bed Bath & Beyond. Closing a lot of stores. 800 big box retail stores set to close. Cracker Barrel. Closing a lot. <laughs> Zoe's. Zoe's Kitchen. If y'all got them near y'all. Out here, pretty much, they closing all of those. Let's see here. Let's just click on, yep, that's news. Yep. It's going down. Let's get uh, the prophecy on that. We'll get a few more and close out. There shall not be any work for Egypt, as the scriptures say. Okay? But let's get this one first. <clears throat> Second Edger 6 and... Man, these are the times we in. Let's just read it. Let's start at 18. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. All of the things we've been going through, all right, is the Lord visiting this place. Okay, but again, the scriptures say, Woe to, inha to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has come down on you having great wrath. Okay, and I will begin to make inquisition of them, all right, what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness. And when the affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled the affliction of Sion is the affliction of Israel all right Sion is monument okay to Zion the temple all right the temple is spiritual in this time okay and when the world that shall begin in 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 in, in the aff affliction of, of Zion the final captivity for us Israelites is in the hands of Esau Edom Lamentations 4 somebody can put that on the comment board and when the world that should begin to vanish away. Okay, you see the world is vanishing away, shall be finished, Esau's world. Then will I show these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament. All right, this word going out. Okay, the Holy Spirit sent, the internet being used for this word to go throughout the four corners of the earth, and they shall see together. The elect are all seeing together. And the children of a year old shall speak with their voices. All right, we're seeing those things in this time. The women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months and they shall live and be raised up. All right. We're seeing that premature babies. All right. Which shows you the earth is out of course. That's not supposed to be. All right. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall be suddenly found empty. See that empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. 
and the spring of fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. All right, meaning this word is going to stop. People, are, the, the love of many is waxing cold. People are scared. People are starting to notice something ain't right. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. The end of whose world? For Esau is the end of the world, man. So, I mean, I had a few other things, but, you know, it's just pretty much, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much the same stuff. You know, you can read those titles. Let's see here. <laughs> Toxic chemical, which is linked to reproductive issues detected in oat-based cereal sold in the U.S. Come on, man. So, I mean, I think that's, you know, I had a few things here. Deciphering the sense of smell, the creation has implications. Millions of dead and decaying fish have choked up a long length of river in a remote Australian town. Australia is facing searing heat waves, and officials say the current hot weather in the region is linked to the depths as warmer water holds less oxygen than cold water and fish. Millions of dead fish clog up the Australian river. <laughs> Mysterious skylight Higher spotted. Oxygen needs at warmer temperatures. <laughs> Next on Leon's Facebook, even though the AI powered chat GPT may have bowled over tech enthusiasts across the world with its human like responses to complex solutions, the CEO of OpenAI, the company. The drying up of a lake in France is ringing alarm bells all across Western Europe. Will the winter drop, drag all the way to the summer? And how are the communities dependent on these water bodies cope with the dry season? Let's take a look at Lake Montbel, set at the foot. Winter drought dries up France. It's hell, man. There is growing concern about a potentially deadly fungus that is spreading across the country. This a deadly fungus in 28 states, including Illinois. Come on now. We ain't at the end. Anyway, hopefully our edify will be back with more news and prophecy because you know it's a lot going on leading towards the MOTB. But I had these articles. I was like, I got to bring these out. So I think that's it. Um, Cyclone Freddy, death toll over 200 as rescue workers. Man, these prophecies are hitting, man. So hopefully I'll edify on to the next. Shalom.